So the next set on the Scarlet and Violet era is upon us. Well, kind of. So the English version, which is called uh, Twilight Masquerade, is out on the 24th of May, or at least out to uh, us regular folks as such. So in Japan, they've got their set release about a week ago as of this video, and their set is called Mask of Change. So I thought in the interim, whilst we're waiting for the set to come out in English and for me to get hold of the stuff to give to you guys, that I'd open up the Japanese version. It's this lovely little booster box here, just to sort of whet our appetite and just have a look at some of the artworks that are in it, because if you haven't seen them already, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, Tatsugiri one in particular, I think is one of the most sought after one. And there's some very playable cards in this, especially, especially the Dragapult uh, Evolution line, as if you've been keeping up with any of this sort of uh, competitive scene in Japan, then that is absolutely amazing. So yes, this will affect competitive. So actually, as a set goes, absolutely amazing. So in front of me, slash you guys right now, is the booster box so like most japanese booster boxes of their normal sets it comes in this little size here pretty nice little box similar to obviously the 151 opening that we've done recently on this channel so we'll get straight into opening it and there's definitely some cards in this that everyone wants and hopefully we open up some of them again we should get a secret art rare because obviously in japan these these boosters are essentially seeded or as close to a seeded booster box as you'll ever get and I still can't open these guys. I genuinely can't open these. Talk among yourselves whilst I do that. Here we go guys, here we go. So, like with the others, they open up like this. Nice there. Boom, and the packs. So, we'll get these out. Put them in nice random piles here because it doesn't actually matter. However, a big difference, you'll notice on here compared to, uh, say, the 151 set that I opened recently on this channel, it says five here. That's right, there's five to a pack. However, unlike the 151, which has seven in a pack, this has five, but it has 30 boosters instead of the 20. So I will let myself do some maths in the future when I come to edit this and it will tell you how many cards are there for in a booster box. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into this because there's a lot to open. You know, it is 30 packs as I've just mentioned. And I will learn my lesson and actually open these correctly. It does mean we'll race through these. Uh, I will try and take my time a little bit because they are uh, newer cards. What? I mean, in terms of the Pokemon, no, so wait, another Al no. Another Kadabra printing. That's what we like to see. Conkalunk, 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 and an A bomb. So in terms of, we will get packs that have literally like nothing in it, um, which I always find weird because I'm so used to in the English version just having at least a hollow in every single set. Oh, we might have something in this. It could be a hollow. This is the uh, the new Pokemon. That's just like. First card of it in Scarlet and Violet, I believe. Is it Sin Sinister? What is that? Yeah, one of those two. Uh, Finison. Sphinx. Boom. And this is the Pheasant card. And if I murder the names, I do know them. Still going to murder them. Uh, Pheasant Dippity Hollow into a Heracross. So I'll we'll put the hollows to one side because it's going to take a few videos to fully work out the lighting on this. And it's a temporary setup that I have to set up every single time I do a video. So please bear with me. Please bear with me. But yeah, I, I am enjoying opening up some of these. Ooh. Guys, I think I think we might have our secret right here. Don't be that person. Second pack in. Okay, I lied, guys. It's a Frost Lass in two. I have no idea what card that is. But it's the mask. So the mask will change. So yes, uh, that's got to be something to do with the Ogre Pond card itself. It, it must be. Uh, again. Editing match, we'll probably put on the screen now what it is, and if there's an English version that has been spoiled for it, then um, that should be on your screen. Ooh, actually, I really like the Apple artwork there. That is actually really nice. Holy work. Boom, our first artwork of this set, and it is the. Is that just the Applin? Or is that the Evolved version? To so, say, I thought I was prepared for this, and it turns out I'm really not. That is an amazing artwork. Look at that. I mean, it's got to be Applin, right? It's not the evolved form of it, um, which came out in came out in uh, the sort of Teal Mask expansion, whatever you want to call it, in the game. To say this video is scuffed with what I'm talking about is absolutely hilarious, but we're going with it, guys. We're going with it. So, uh, Darumatan, whatever it's called, uh, Timber. Oh, I can't remember that one. What's called? Oh, is that the actual? Oh, there we go, Tatsugiri is actually very playable and splashable because you're using it for its ability not necessarily for its attack so i'm gonna put it to one side ah th this is the main guy who you fight and sort of sounds a bit of a sport but he has a he has an arc and, and it's hilarious the arc 
and if you get to play the the latest expansion um and you get to fight him make sure you use your ogre pond because it is hilarious but that's all i say on that one I've, I've really forgotten his name oh well there you go guys some homework for you is to look up what that what that character's name is because i can't um ooh, it's not a bad artwork there river room into a heracross again so yeah so one thing i don't like is that you go through these packs really easy like and you could just open up a pack and get absolutely nothing in five cards and then someone comes along and goes boom oh, not boom but here we go this is the uh the new pokemon of the evolution line as you can see up here and here so this is the sinestia one year one poltergeist one i believe and this has got like, the mocha 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 attack uh, in the game well i think it's called it's Let's just go with it, guys. Let's just, just bear with me in this one. Let's just go with it. Here we go. It's, ooh, Sandshrew. One of, one of my favorite Pokemon. I actually really like that artwork. Definitely going to forget that in English and potentially a reverse. Reverse hollow in that one. Oh, wow. And it, like the little reflection there. Some of these artworks are absolutely amazing. Maybe not the sun. Okay. This is the first time I've opened up an A spec in Japanese. Uh. Um, <laughs> I actually had to look this up because I thought actually I can't keep doing this and not knowing. I thought I knew all the cards in set, clearly don't. So the supporter is called Kieran, and this here is Legacy Energy. So as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but only provides one energy at a time. But if you need it to be water, if you need it to be electric, etc., that's what it does. And if it's uh, the Pokemon it's attached to is get knocked out by an attack, uh, then your opponent takes one less prize card. So I, I can see that being in some. Like a defensive uh, card in some decks, actually not too bad. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. The first a spec from, well, in Japanese from my side, and actually, it is cool. I hope that the camera picks this up for you guys. It does look really nice. And I have more stuff in front of me. So just to confirm, this is Diplin. There we go, guys. I got it right. No, I didn't get it right. But okay, I didn't get it right. But there you go. I've I've, I've corrected myself. I'm gonna be better, guys gonna be better and I've, i am looking forward to some of his artworks now that i'm a bit more prepped well i still don't know 100 percent what's in this which is amazing i kind of want it to be that way but at least i've got a bit of a heads up i can actually give you the right information instead of being like that guy even though his name's kieran and he's quite a big character in scarlet and violet but you know my minor detail minor detail you don't want to do things normal here not at all chancy get the Full up Palafin here, which has the nice hero ability. Not too bad. I mean, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what's going on with the background on this, but it does pop to be fair. It does, it does pop and look quite nice. And then we get the actual Diplin there. Normal card. Okay, so the hits are coming. Like, um, I know in booster boxes for ourselves, based on Temporal Forces, that we get two, up to two A specs. So, I don't know if in Japanese that's the same or if it's only one A spec per booster box. Oh, there we go. And that's got to be that's got to be the Chansey card into that one. That's actually really nice. Just the way it's got like the Psyduck, it's got Bellsprout, it's got Blissey, Snorlax, a Ditto here. I don't know if you guys can see that Ditto there. That's actually a really nice card. Like that is that is definitely my favorite so far from the set. Not that I've seen all the cards, but that is 100% a really nice card. Whoa, definitely want to get that in English, 100%. I must admit, I don't know about you guys, but artworks back in the day were amazing in a different way to what they are now. We didn't quite have the, the, the sort of the, these kind of cards, but they are just, it seems like getting better and better. So I don't know what they're doing, but just keep doing it. Here we go, into the next one. Not a lot, obviously, the Rula Boom there. I'm gonna double check what this card is, cause it's now starting to bubble. <laughs> this is called Ogre's Mask, but it doesn't actually tell me what it does. But there you go, at least it's called Ogre's Mask. Uh, that's what we'll, we'll go with. At least I know now, bleh, now know the name of it. And then the site I'm using, which is Poker Beach, to be fair, would normally have it, but on this occasion doesn't. The question is, do we get any Dracopults? We do not, but we do get this one. This is one of the three. So like you've got Pheasant Dippity, Monkey Dory, which is obviously the monkey one. And then you've got this one, which is the Okie Dokie, thing, but it's the dog type. And then we've got the Agron at the end there. That, that also, I mean, 
The artwork is just so cool. Look at that, guys. Like, let's make sure. I'm, I'm literally going to be going through this. I'm like, the artworks are incredible. Hopefully, they, the um, the quality on the English ones is just as good, especially in terms of grading. It, you know, this one. I have a feeling if I was to send, literally send this off, this would probably get a 10. Like, that's how good the quality is in this. So, hopefully, English one can do well. But so far, very impressed with the artwork. And I just realized that I've almost taken too long on this. Let's speed up a little bit. Song the door. Biotech into a... Can't remember the middle evolution of the Timber Conqueror line. But here we go. Oh, that pack opened up perfectly, guys. Getting better. Here we go. Chansey. That one. Mighty Enna. Oh, that was a pack. It's only five guys. It's only five guys. Right, yeah. Five guys. So, I mean, that, that's a chain over here. Say chain over here it's it's a chain in quite a few places but here we go this is the middle evolution and i can never remember which one that is but it's got the ability which draws you cards like you draw two cards put one of them back in your library i believe so actually a very playable card and it's kind of the new deck which is absolutely amazing and there we go on Godori again but the actual card itself instead of the alt art so yeah let me know guys are you looking forward to this set coming out in english and uh well, as of recording uh, in a couple weeks' time, in terms of it coming out a week, maybe two weeks, um, it feels like it's got some lovely cards and artwork in it, as you can see from this video. And obviously, if you go and look it up online, then you'll see plenty. But it also affects um, competitive, and I feel like a good set affects competitive in, a, in the correct way with new decks. Um, but also, oh, that's a really nice bit of artwork there. But also in terms of a collect collection. So as you can see, some of the artworks are lovely. Like I said, the Tatsugiri one. Hopefully we pull it. That'd be really cool if we get that. Then yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Boom. There we go. Ogre Pony X. The 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 standard Ogre Pony, if you like, the glass version. Boom. So that's our first EX card out of this set. I'm expect I'm expecting to open more, but that is the first one, guys. That's the first one. And the funny thing is, like, Ogre Pond in the VGC in particular, uh, because of its different masks and affecting its terror type, has seen a lot of play, uh, like, every single version of it, I think. Question is, will it see play in a TC? Boom, there we go. This is the card that's making the headlines. This is the new deck. Dragobolt deck. Melotic Mal to finish it off. Here we go. This is the card. This is the, uh, don't know if you guys have watched, uh, pay attention to championship. To the Japan Championship, so there's a 3,000 player tournament. The biggest percentage deck was the Dragonport deck. Yeah, it was won by Maridon. There you go, guys. Won by Maridon. The deck that first happened when Scarlet and Violet came out, then fell off the face of the earth, might be, in theory, on paper at least, the best. So, something happened with my camera, well, actually, this space <laughs> turns out on my computer, so that is something to sort out before I record the next one. So, I'm not sure what's cut off, but I do apologise if I was mis-sentenced and it cuts off, but I know we were talking about decks and the ride on being potentially the best deck in the format due to its matchups, especially with Dragapult and Charizard. Boom, okay, so that's that's the normal Ogre Pond in this one, as you can see here, but not as good as the EX version. So yeah, I do apologise for that, hopefully we're back to where we were and you didn't miss any important cards. I don't believe you would have. Like that. Some of these packs open like absolutely amazingly and some I'm like, what, what's going on? So we should, in theory, still get... Oh, I don't think you're like truly guaranteed it, but you should get a secret artwork, I believe. And I don't think, don't think we've got one. So we've got a secret rare in terms of the Palafin and then we've got some art rares, but we haven't got, sorry, cards all over the place haven't got the secret art rare there we go kieran guys kieran secret art rare so that's like your gold cards and certain artworks and certain uh, supporters shall we say and there's normally a waifu that normally gets loads of it to be fair i haven't actually heard much in terms of a waifu card from this set Norm normally everyone here knows about it straight away but doesn't seem to be the case in this set so we've got four packs to go guys let's hope we do get some more hits at least one more hit obviously it's a secret art rare even better 
I don't know what they are. I'm kind of going in a bit blind. As you can probably tell from this entire video, far-fetched, snow runt into its evolved form, glacial into a root bonnet. Okay, guys. Maybe, maybe we won't get to see the artwork. There's definitely something in this pack, but whether it's just a hollow, I don't know. Here we go. It, it's just a hollow. Okay, guys, two packs. Can we get some? Can we get some? I mean, to be fair, the hits have been pretty good. I would say we're on the lower side, but maybe the uh, maybe the palafin was the secret rare, and, and it's like it's the secret rare, not the secret art rare that we're expecting. Unless I've got my wires crossed as... Oh, we've got another EX. Okay, so usually you get three Xs in one of these booster boxes. So the Blissey, the Dragapult, and the Ogapon are the ones from this. So that makes sense. Does that mean the secret part there is in the literally the last pack we open? I mean, I'm not holding my breath for it, guys. Can't even open the pack. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe it's a sign something really good, isn't it? But here we go, guys. Last pack. If you have enjoyed watching this and you definitely want to see more, then make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Like I said, there's so much going on this year. So, yeah, please keep watching. I'll be opening up um, a couple of like the ETBs, Pokemon Center, the normal one, and the booster box of the English version of this. So make sure you're watching. Here we go. And we get the fighting type Ogapon EX and a Sunflora. So, Maybe the secret rare for us was the Palafin, which I hope is not the case. And maybe we just got a slightly dud box. Well, it's not a dud box. Look at these guys. They see, I mean, that artwork there is amazing. That artwork there is also amazing. I guess that is the secret rare right there. Got no spec in that one. But yeah, the, these two here, definitely my favorites that we've opened from. Let me know, guys, down in the comments below, what's your favorite for what we've opened? What's your favorite from the set? What are you looking forward to the most in the English set when it comes out in a couple of weeks' time? And what is your chase? Because if we all love chasing something, even though opening up isn't always the best way of getting that chase, we're completely degen. So, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.